Hi, everybody. Pray that you're having an awesome day today. What I was going to talk about is what always comes up this time of year, and it drives me nuts now. It drives me crazy. But it's Christmas and everybody's Christmas tree. Now, before I even say anything about this, I used to have, I mean, our house was all decked out for Christmas. It was like we had a 12-foot Christmas tree every year. Uh, we counted the ornaments, how many ornaments that went on that thing. It was a thousand ornaments that we put on that thing one year. <laughs> well, so it was it was quite a quite a thing, you know, for Christmas. Was, but so first of all, I want to read Jeremiah 10 because, and this is out of the new or the NIV, yeah. Because I, I really like the way it uh, really hammers the message home, I think. So here, first I'll read this. Hear the word of the Lord, O Israel. Don't act like the people who make horoscopes and try to read their fate and future in the stars. Don't be frightened by predictions such as theirs, for it is all a pack of lies. Their ways are futile and foolish. They cut down a tree and carve an idol and decorate it with gold and silver and fasten it securely in place with hammer and nails so that it won't fall over. And there stands their God. Like a helpless scarecrow in a garden, it cannot speak and it must be carried, for it cannot walk. Don't be afraid of such a God, for it can neither harm nor help, nor do you any good. So that about says it. That's Jeremiah 10. And so, you know, when you tell people about this stuff, and you know, the first thing, you know, they're like, oh, I'm not, you know, I'm not giving up my tree. You know, it's Christmas time. You, you, you know, I'm not giving up my tree. And it's just like they go into this, they get mad to even mention that there's a verse in the Bible that actually talks about it. And then they'll say, you know, well, that's in the Old Testament. You know, that, that we, we're not under that anymore, you know. So, I was like, okay, well, yeah, it's in the Old Testament, but does that mean that it doesn't mean, <laughs> I mean, obviously our Father doesn't like it, so why would you do it, you know? And, you know, and the, what it represents, after you find out what the stuff represents anyways, and I mean, it represents Nimrod and all of what goes on with him, all of the sacrifices and all the child fact sacrifices that's been done to Nimrod or for Nimrod. And uh, these people just, you know, they worship him, the pagans. And uh, the Christians that don't know any better do. Just think what that looks like from the spiritual realm. You got a, somebody that says that they love Jesus and you're over there bowing down to your tree, picking presents up and down. Man. So, you know, if you, you know, I, the way I look at it is if you don't do this stuff that obviously he doesn't, wouldn't like us to do, is uh, if you don't do it, then, you know, I feel like you get closer, you can be closer to our Father while we're here. Instead of doing all of that, you know. That is, it's, it's, that's what Christmas is all about, is Christmas tree. All about Nimrod. You know Nimrod, what his name means is, we will rebel. All goes back to sun worship because when he died then they said that he went up to his rightful place in the sun and they all worshiped the sun the Christmas tree grew up on the stump overnight on the pine stump or whatever that supposedly the story go you know where it all comes from where it originates from and uh, in the morning there was a tree there and they brought presents out and stuck it under the tree and they worshiped Ra the, or Nimrod the you know the sun god now 
and well then people you know they'll they'll say well that's not what i worship over you know that's not what i look at it like you know i don't i look at it because you know we're celebrating jesus's birthday first of all the bible doesn't tell us to do that second of all you don't even know when jesus's birthday is but you know whose birthday it is it's nimrod's birthday right and it doesn't really matter what you think that you are celebrating it for or not because unfortunately for you you can't change the where every all the stuff originated from and what it means so you know all right well, I guess that's all I'm going to talk about today. <laughs> Sorry, but you know, this time of the year, I used to love it, but I really despise this time of the year. And I love family and all of that stuff, but these, these uh, pagan holidays, not for me anymore. So anyways, I will talk to you guys later. And hope that you have a great rest of your day. See you, love you, bye.